Yeah, I'm Dante DeFazio. I am a project manager for the renovations division at Virginia Tech. Had a, a, a summer of working as a uh, dishwasher at All You Can Eat Buffet and uh, also working construction. So I was kind of doing kind of around the clock work and uh, found out two things. I really hate washing dishes. So I knew I wanted to go to college. And then uh, I was making more money at the construction side of things. And I was like, wow, this, this is pretty fun. And uh, I was actually building a house across the street from the house I lived in growing up. So at the end of every day, I could go home and I could look out the window and see what I was building. And I was like, just, I was really, it was just such a gratifying feeling. Yeah, I, I got, when I moved to Austin, I started on an 18 story building. Usually get a lift up to 18 and just kind of walk down and go all the way down and just check the status of everything. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? And I was just like, there's got to be a better way than to constantly be monitoring. Or like after I've done the walk, I was like, oh, was that 15 or was that 17? Realize there's just so much stuff to be able to gather and try to mark it down and remember it and be able to relay it to everyone. It just is overwhelming, especially on a day-to-day -day basis, because if I have a hundred things I wrote down, 82 of them probably changed by tomorrow. And there's no way for anyone to get me a specific, like actual update for those specific things. Unless I'm following it one by one, it's just not enough time in a day for one person to do that. One, the formatting for what we were using from the 360 camera, we basically just had a, just like a raw file and it was just walking around in a building and there's no point of reference. So you can figure it out, but you also have to take time to figure it out. And then, um, you know, you have to mark openings or something. If you don't have doors on a space, you have to mark a frame or something. And it just takes a really long time to get that location of where you are. And if you have a single video, you have to keep track of every spot and kind of follow it along the way. If, you're, if you have 12 rooms in a video, you got to know, okay, what room am I on? Have we looked through this video? Because there's no delineation in a video of where you are or how far along you've gone. So it just became like, I have it, but it's something, but it's maybe not a great tool. I can be the nail with it, but it's not really a hammer. Yeah, I think it was, um, it was three or four times, I can't remember, but basically I was paying for the labor. The majority of my cost was the labor to have someone walk around with a camera and take photos, which I felt was not the best use of my dollars. And since I'm pretty much required to go walk around and take photos anyway, uh, because I'm responsible for the project. Having someone there to take photos doesn't alleviate me from going out and taking photos. So if I'm already going out and taking photos, I don't really want to pay for someone else to go do it again.